Hi, in this video tutorial we would like to introduce you our Protomos system. We will tell you about its main purposes and how it works to help you understand how it can benefit your own needs. Protomos is the order management system for freelance translators. You can use it to record all completed works, store files, monitor deadlines, invoice your clients and see that payments are paid in time. Also, you can generate financial reports of your activity. The system is very simple. No special training is required to work with it. You will master it after watching this video tutorial. And one more thing. The system is free for freelancers. So let's start. First you need to do is to sign up. Please go to the Protomos.com website and press the Sign Up button. As you are a freelancer, please select respective account type. Fill in the boxes and press the Sign Up button. As you can see, the Stop Wizard is displayed, so you can use it to enter some basic system information. As Services. In this section you can mention all the services you provide. In addition to translation and proofreading, you can indicate any other services such as layout design, OCR and other language pairs. Here you can indicate the language pairs you work with. Next come units. State here the units to measure the volume of work. For example, this could be hours, words or pages. You can easily add any other units you need. Next come specializations. You can choose here what areas of translation you specialize in. Currencies. Please indicate the currencies you work with, such as United States dollars or euros. Indicate the main currency of the system here. The system will use it for accounting. And finally, the payment methods. This section is devoted to the payment details which will be used in the invoices the system will generate and send to your clients. Let's add the payment method. Choose for example PayPal from the drop-down list. Indicate the email connected to the payment system. OK. We will set this payment method as default later and used for creating invoices. To navigate the menu entries, use a dedicated navigation menu. Having completed all the entries, press the Complete Wizard button. The following screen will be displayed. This means that your account has been created and you can start working with Protomos. By the way, all the system values that we have just entered are editable. You can change or add any information whenever you need. To start a new project in the system, you need to add your clients. Create a new client using this button. Enter the name and contact details. Select the client type, company or individual. Fill in miscellaneous information and then click Save button. Now you can enter the payment conditions. Set the currency the client will use to pay you. Now it's ready. By the way, if you have the list of clients, you can quickly import it into the system together with contacts and prices. To do so, go to the client's list, press Import from Excel button,
Download the template file for import and fill it out. Then upload completed file to the system and import by pressing the Submit button. If the field file has no mistakes, the information from it will be imported into the system. Otherwise, the file will be returned with indication of the found mistakes. Correct the mistakes to be able to import the information again. Now, let's assume that we received the order from the client. We consider that this is a PowerPoint translation from English into Russian of 3000 words. The deadline is in two days. The client pays for it per cent per word. Let's enter this information. Now we create a new project. Let's call it New Project. Select the language pairs Specialization Client Enter the deadline. If our project is free of charge, we could check this box. Ready. Now we go to the Files tab. If necessary, we can add the files received from the client, so they don't get lost. That's it. Now we navigate to the Finance tab and enter the amount we are paid for this job. If the client sent us the order code, we could enter it in this field. If not, leave it blank. The language pair is already remembered. We select the service. Indicate the unit and price. If necessary, we check the box so this client's price is stored in the database. That's it, the project has been created. Now let's assume that we have completed the work. We can upload the ready file in the system. This way we can find it quickly if the client asks for it three weeks later. Now we close the project. As the job has been delivered, we can invoice the client. To do so, go to the Finances receivables. And one more thing here. To invoice the project we must select the default payment methods for ourselves and the client. Go to the system. Payment methods. Change default payment method and condition. Choose the desirable payment method. Update. Then go to the Client section. Choose Client and change settings for default payment method. Now we can return to invoice creation process. Select the order to include in the invoice and press the Invoice button. The invoice has been created. We can download and open it by pressing the Download as PDF button. We can send the invoice to the client directly from the system by pressing the Send to the client button. We can send the invoice to the client in other way and mark as the Send by pressing the Mark Send button. 
Now let's assume that client has paid the order. To enter the payment, click Add New button, choose Payment from Client, select the client, the payment is filled in automatically and the invoice is already checked. That's it, the payment is entered, click Save button. That's how the project fulfillment cycle looks like. Now let's have a look into the filters function. On the projects tab we may display unfinished projects, projects for particular client, a specific deadline or filtered by other criteria. Other useful filters can be applied in the list of receivables. Here you can display uninvoiced projects, make a search by project name, client and receivable code. In the list of invoices, you can display the unpaid invoices, invoices from a particular client, specific code and more custom values. It means that you will never forget who owes you money and how much. The same can be done with payments. You can find the payment you need by several criteria. Another function of the system includes reports. In general report you can see how much your salary changed from month to month. In the client's report you can see the dynamic of orders and payments for each client. Also you can see the share of each client in your salary. It means that using the system you can put into order your freelance business and see its full picture. It will not be a black box anymore that is difficult to sort out. No more lost payments and invoices as well as the files. You will not need to memorize how much and when you have to expect the payment from a particular client. You will be able to analyze the importance of each client and whether it is reasonable to work with him. In this video tutorial we have reviewed all the system values without going into the detail of each. The detailed overview of each option will be provided in our next videos. In addition, there is a full functional version of system intended for translation agencies. We will devote to it a separate video. Thank you for attention.